Hello, Geminis. Welcome to your Gemini season tarot reading. This message may apply to you if you have Gemini as your sun, moon, rising, or Venus signs. Um, I know it's been a while since I've made one of these videos, so I'm excited. Um, I don't want to say nervous, let's just say excited. But um, yeah, it's your season, so let's get into it. What to expect, what themes are going to be relevant for you guys. Um, I know Mercury's retrograde right now, um, and Gemini being ruled by Mercury. You're probably kind of used to the chaos um, and just like Mercury retrograde basically is a time for um, revisiting um, things like kind of, I don't want to say repeating lessons, but revisiting the past and it's like, okay, like now that I could see this objectively, like what, how do I like integrate this knowledge into my daily life? Um, and I think the other day, because Mercury was in, in Gemini for a while, but it just went back into Taurus. Um, so I think like everyone, but especially Mercurial signs like Gemini and Virgo, um, could kind of be focusing on um, themes of like home and stability, um, luxury, like physical, physical things and how you can incorporate like a nice home environment um, into your life so what are mercury what are mercury yep what are gemini's dealing with this gemini season um and gemini season dates um are ah i think it started may 20th 21st and it goes until end of June yeah I don't really know dates they kind of vary by year but uh, yeah whoa ah okay <laughs> first card that came out is the full in reverse and I think the three of wands in reverse wanted to come out too so I'm just gonna bring that out here ah oh my god <laughs> okay okay exciting time for you guys and I love like when I watch these back and thinking about the Geminis, I know it's like, oh, I see how that can apply to their life. Okay. Um, I feel like the general vibe I'm, I'm getting right off the bat um, is you guys are entering a new chapter and you're really trying to figure out where to go from here. Uh, let's see. Most of the cards came out um, in reverse. And that's not like a bad thing. I just feel like it's 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 kind of the same message as a card coming out like regularly, but it's more internalized rather than like external factors. So I feel like this this future planning and this this next step um, kind of has a lot to do with you. Okay, interesting, interesting. All right. So at the bottom of the deck. Um, we have the five of wands in reverse. And so um, this card, you could be feeling like some sort of um, internal conflict um, and kind of wondering like, who am I? What do I, what are my core beliefs? Like, what am I fighting for? What is my purpose in this life? Like, which way should I go? Like I have so many, as a, as a mutable sign, a mutable air sign, Gemini's have so many, interests and ideas and I feel like every day and like every hour like you multitask or you jump from thing to thing um and sometimes that's really cool I wish I was like that um but I think it could be hard sometimes when you're trying to like invest in your future and it's like okay long term like what am I trying to accomplish like I'm trying to make a name for myself what is my thing who am I um you know you, you guys are kind of like shapeshifters so I think right now that's that's like the, the main conflict is figuring out who you are, how you want to present yourself to the world, um, and what that next step is. Okay, so the first card that came out is the Fool in Reverse. I love this card. It is card number zero. Um, this card is all about new beginnings, new chapters, um, 
new cycles. And so um, the fool kind of dives into things headfirst. It's more like act now, think later. Um, it's better to ask for forgiveness than permission. So I feel like you guys in trying to figure out what your big plan is, who you are, what you're trying to do, um, you're just kind of diving headfirst. And I love that for you. I feel like the springtime, like this is so <sighs> re rebirth and just, just wanting to like, mm, like that spring fever feeling like you just need to go outside and like do some shit. Um, so I feel like that's where you guys are at right now. Um, inner verse is kind of telling me maybe you hit some bumps along the way or you don't exactly know where it's leading. Um, and right now things might seem chaotic and like you don't know um, how things are going to pan out, but you're just feeling things out. Um, and even if it seems like short sighted or, oh, wow, like this is kind of a waste of my time or my money. Like, I don't think you guys are thinking that way. I feel like it's more like I'm learning, I'm having fun. And in the process, like I'm figuring out, you're figuring your shit out. All right. Um, kind of going along with that theme, we have the three of wands in reverse. Um, so this card again planning for the future it's like okay after after that that period of um self-discovery or while you're having that period um it's like okay i kind of figured out like what direction i want to go like okay maybe i want to move to this place or maybe i want to like have this job or, or or follow this path right so it's like okay i picked a direction that's a good place to start right so you guys may have picked a path um and take those initial steps um, maybe you like went on Indeed or LinkedIn or whatever, applied to a bunch of jobs, like in a certain field, like you kind of figured, figured something out, but you're still in the early stages, right? Um, yeah. So I think you're, you're finding your footing, becoming more confident every day in who you are and what you're trying to do. Um, and so the next card we have is the page of cups upright. Um, so this card, it's like a, a younger watery energy cups is like water sign energy. Um, and so you could be, um, receiving some sort of creative offer. Um, and I think like you finding your purpose, um, like will naturally lead others. How do I phrase this? Okay. So you kind of figuring out what you want to do once you've reached that like energetic vibration, like people will offer you jobs or relationship or just something that you really want like you have to figure out what you want first and then it is yours you just have to figure that out um and i feel like it's going to naturally flow to you so you could be in more of your receptive energy um okay and then the next card is ah the king of pentacles in reverse um well <laughs> so um this card is kind of a card of financial stability and security um and like figuring out how to manage your day-to-day -day spending and it's like you kind of established um a, a method that works for you and so you know you have multiple maybe multiple streams of income or just like spending and earning like you you kind of figured out what works for you um and so in reverse hmm i feel like this just has to do with like the overall like figuring out figuring out your worth um when you are like in alignment with what you're actually trying to pursue and not just like in like that lack mindset of like oh fuck like i just need a job like i'll take any job you know um and i know that's definitely like um that could sound like a, a, a privileged thing to say it's like oh well you know like if I'm going through some hard shit, like I kind of have to, you know, take this job that I don't want. And I'm not, I'm not saying that people don't need to, um, make money, earn a living. I get that. Um, I just find that sometimes we kind of hold ourselves back out of fear, um, from pursuing what we're actually passionate about. Um, and I think figuring out your passion is going to lead to financial abundance. Um, you just have to figure that out first. Um, okay, and then th this card kind of relates to that. So this is a temperance card. Um, it's associated with Sagittarius, which is your sister sign, your opposite sign. Um, so I love the Gemini Sagittarius axis. Um, it's very 
explorative is that a word um just kind of like talking to people traveling having new experiences new ideas and so the temperance card is all about being in flow um and i feel like with the page of cups like that's kind of what i was talking about before like when you're so in alignment with your life and your purpose things just flow easier you don't have to overthink it or try so hard um it should feel effortless and like every day when you wake up you should feel like you're working towards something but you're more living in the moment it's not like oh like one day i will have this amount of money and i will have this thing and I'll, I'll be happy when i'm here like no you're enjoying every step of the journey and you're in alignment and that's a beautiful place to be um and then the last card we have is the hanged man in reverse um this card is associated with pisces energy um and so upright it's kind of like pausing taking a moment of stillness and reflecting it's it's kind of spiritual um it's like surrender surrender to divine timing surrender to not knowing everything not knowing how things are going to play out but you're not living for the end goal you're not living for the destination you're living for the journey i know it sounds so fucking cliche um but uh in reverse maybe you guys are reluctant or hesitant to um just stop and slow down and really think about like who you are all these philosophical questions um you know very much like the fool it's like you want to you want to do 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 and like that's great um but also like really take a moment to reflect like is this in alignment with who i am and i think right now you guys are really just feeling shit out like early stages um but i see if if you end up pursuing something that just feels right like intuitively just feels right then i see it working out for you um so yeah that is the message i have for gemini placements um i hope you guys enjoyed this video um so yeah have a great gemini season